The Prime Minister has weighed into the debate over youth crime in Melbourne, declaring there is a gang problem and it's the Premier's fault. He claims a lack of political leadership is preventing police from tackling the issue. As Victoria enters an election year, senior Liberals have offered state colleagues a lifeline, diving in to the youth crime debate. This is a failure of the Andrews government. The Victorian government under Premier Andrews has dropped the ball. The Prime Minister insists the state does have a problem with gangs, despite senior police declaring that none exist in Melbourne. Some MPs have suggested the Australian Federal Police be recruited to combat the issue, but Malcolm Turnbull says state police do have the resources. What is lacking is the political leadership and the determination on the part of Premier Andrews. We certainly will not be taking uh, suggestions or advice from a bloke who can't even put on a life vest when he's on a boat in Sydney Harbour. At least one South Sudanese youth leader says gangs definitely exist. When I heard that the other day, look, I was very, um, I was very gobsmacked. AFL hopeful but, um, Nelly Yoa so says African teens need a voice, mentoring and education to avoid lives of crime. A lot of them have a lot to give back. It's just, you know, just having that engagement between, between youth and um, officials and, you know, and also as well as community. Police have referred 18 criminals to federal authorities to have their visas cancelled. I'm very confident of um, the, the, the investment that the state government has made into Victoria Police and I believe well and truly we're on the right track. But if Malcolm Turnbull wants to flap his gums, then of course nothing is going to be achieved. Estelle Greeping, 7 News. Good evening. The Prime Minister has launched a coordinated attack on Premier Daniel Andrews after a crime spree by violent youths. It comes after calls for federal help to crack down on gangs. More from Dougal Beatty. Gang violence in Melbourne streets and a police officer allegedly assaulted by a young thug had the Prime Minister this morning pointing the finger. This is a failure of the Andrews Labor government. At Bondi Beach, Malcolm Turnbull waded into Victoria's so-called law and order crisis. We are very concerned at the growing gang violence uh, and uh, lawlessness in Victoria, in particular in Melbourne. The PM was flanked by Victorian ministers. We know that African gang crime in some areas in particular is clearly out of control. In a coordinated political attack following calls by other federal MPs to have the AFP investigate the state's youth crime. The Victorian government under Premier Andrews has dropped the ball on uh, allowing the police to take a strong, clear role. The acting roads minister was left to defend the Andrews government. We certainly will not be taking uh, suggestions or advice from a bloke who can't even put on a life vest when he's on a boat in Sydney Harbour. The water safety dot point that I was given to mention is uh, always wear your life jacket. Uh, OK, that's one. OK. While police rejected any suggestion of a soft on crime approach. What I will say day in and day out also is I will continue to support our men and women that are doing an absolutely fantastic job. But South Sudanese youth leaders say gangs are on the rise. I do agree with the Prime Minister. Um, um, what, what he said today, you know, it's completely true. And... Um, it's a shame that the Victorian government are trying to um, shy away from these issues. It's not the first time the federal government has targeted law and order in Victoria. In June, Greg Hunt was one of three coalition MPs forced to apologise to the judiciary over claims of weak sentences for terror offences. 2018 already shaping up as a bruising election year. If Malcolm Turnbull wants to flap his gums, then of course nothing is going to be achieved. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.